when it came to history classes or civics classes, there was nobody that looked like me that was being reported on or I was learning about. And so growing up with that, having your culture absent from your, your educational life sort of made me want to bring that into my artistic life in, in various ways. It varies from, from looking at historical objects and people to, to looking at more contemporary culture as it involves uh, the African, African American diaspora. I had been thinking about this piece for Elijah McLean, the young African-American man who was killed as he's walking on the street in uh, Aurora, Colorado. One of my friends described the situation as like they were trying to extinguish sweetness as a threat. And I was like, wow, what does that look like? Extinguishing sweetness as a threat. And I think about sweetness, I started thinking about colors and I think about marbles and candy and things like that. Things that I would associate with innocence, being almost childlike, but also the shapes of atoms and molecules being dispersed. One thing I really focused on was his last words, Elijah's last words, as he was being pinned to the ground, being restrained. He still had it within himself to compose himself. He defend who he was. Like, I was just walking home. I don't fight, I'm a vegetarian, I don't kill flies. People can have access to that information, that visual information that you're presenting or that artwork you're presenting. They don't always have to agree with it. It doesn't always have to be acceptable to them, but I think for me it has to be grounded in, again, accessibility and being able to approach it and being able to ask questions, have dialogue with it or even disagree with it. process is it's always about how I can make the work function in a space where people have to download a whole lot of information that they may not be comfortable with. How do I make them stand in front of it and witness it and, and go through it with me? I think David Bowie was talking about like, you know, you don't ever want to be too comfortable. You want to like sort of wade out into the water and just when your feet aren't touching the bottom anymore that's like a good place to be because you're not really sure how deep you are, but you know you're in a zone where like, okay, I have to do something different to, to make it to the other side. And I kind of enjoy that process. I was talking to a friend of mine uh, the other day about like, you know, where our ultimate goal is being artists. We want to add to that a continuing conversation, the one that's, that happened before us, the one that we're currently in, and hopefully we're adding something to, to future generations. 